Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so in the previous part, we finally got revenge on Hal for the betrayal of our parents and killing and taking over our fucking castle. But um, the, um, another thing that we also did was we free Queen Honora um, from Hal's uh, captivity. Um, what else did we do? We ran into Logan's second in command. Well, I guess how would have been his, like, I guess his right hand. We'll say his right hand. Uh, Sir, um, Catherine? Ka Some something like that. I don't fucking know. Her, her name was too confusing looking. And we killed her because she wanted us to surrender, but we ain't about surrendering these parts. But anyways, um, so we took care of that. And then ultimately, um, and how's this... In his dungeon, um, we found people. Um, they're like um, related. We found two people. Well, we found a total of four people. Two people were related to um, poli like politicians, I guess. Um, nobles that would help us in the lands meet. So there's some leverage against Logan there. Uh, we met this elf who was put. His name was Soren. Uh, you, he was left in there for um, something against the old Arl before Rindon Howe. And then also um, Vaughn, who was set to become the new Arl of Dinarum because he was the son of uh, Urien. Um, he, promised, he pledged his allegiance to us, so hopefully he comes in clutch. Um, also, I think I'm going to make the armor change because... Um, I just need to, I think. <laughs> Oh, here. I'll also take this off, too. My guy is naked. But I want Alistair to have this now. Because, I mean, it looks nicer, but, like, at the same time, I think I should have the better armor because I'm more important. That's very conceited, but it's, it's a video game. I wish that... I really wish I could, like, get something to match with this because I think that armor looks the best. I think that's, like, the best-looking armor in the game, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the the Juggernaut one, but honestly, um, I I like kind of like how it has no design to it. So I'm gonna put Ways Dragon Bone plate armor back on. Okay. And then the reason I'm still going to rock out with the red shield is because this this is basically eight. Not eight, sorry, seven, fucking idiot. This is eight defense um, with all the bonuses, and this is still only four, so it makes more sense to, to use this shield because this is, like, a really good shield. So, but I believe we can find them, those nobles in this tavern here, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yes, we do. See, look at this. Hello. Whoever you are, right? Wait, I know you. Poor Oswin obviously didn't recognize you. He described you in great detail, but never mentioned you were a Kuzland. I owe you his life. <laughs> I would leave no man to suffer at Arl Howe's hands. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish Howe still lived that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? All I want is for you to speak out against Loghain. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Ban Reginelda of the White River Banorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. Well, this is good. And then you there's you, you over here it? to talk to. May I help you? Ban Alstana. I was asked to give you this. This is Ermenrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. You might want to ask Loghain. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? He's in the dungeon of the Arl of Dinarim's estate. A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. You're Bryce Kuzlin's youngest, are you not? I thought I recognized you. Take this. It's been in my family for generations. Let it be a sign of the friendship between High Ever and Waking Sea. 
Let me know if you want some of my bowmen when you take back your Tanir as well. Ooh. Well, this is good. So I assumed she would pledge her support to us as well after that. So. Did you see Wolf's face when he arrived? I heard West Hills has fallen to Darkspawn. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the okay. blight yourself. Hard so place. let's keep. I think that's really it. I'm going to double check, though, because there was no other arrows in there, but I think that's really all that we can do, which will help us in the lands meet a lot, considering it's a very political base thing. There's, I think that was everything. Dinner room, rescue the queen. I know where I got away the confusion. Perhaps it would be a good idea to speak to Earl Eamon about this. Okay, but I think that's me. You've come to dinner room. Yeah, pretty sure that's everything. So let's go ahead and head back to the estate. Which Dwarven is crafts. right over Fine. there. And if I'm not mistaken, Riordan should be in here as well. Because we told him to flee to this place. And he said we could talk there, so. Be very good. Be very good indeed. Ah, oh, man. Heating up this land's meat is. Yeah, my guy looks more right in this armor anyways. Looks more badass. Gel. Excuse me, the Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentioned. <laughs> oh, okay. You spoken to Queen Honora? Well, not much. Just, may I air that for you, my lady? She's brought a maid of her own to wait on her. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Good day, indeed. All right. Well, look, and there she is. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Calfbian's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. It's nice to see you too, Your Highness. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Is there no way to reason with him? I thought so. I'd hoped so. Hal's influence was strong. His death can only be a good thing, but even that will not be enough. I know my father, and he is committed to his course. Oh, he will see this through, no matter what. You will need ammunition come the lands meet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset. Which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Laura, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And just how strong are you? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she does make a compelling argument. 
She struts away like a little bitch. <laughs> well, she's quite spirited. Very. I remember when Logan first brought her to Denneran. Or Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. <laughs> I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Logan's the only trouble I care about. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Logan. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Logan. I think she would make a better ruler than Alistair. Honora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. But Alistair's mother was screwly a maid. How is he better? Alistair doesn't know the f uh, first thing about being king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. Hmm. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. I lead them. He knows what? how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. Why is it so important to put Mark's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Maybe Alistair should marry Anora. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. <laughs> that would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Let's talk about we something else. have a great deal to plan. Uh, what do you think he's doing in the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. That is true. I've got of work course, to do. If I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. True. Ah, and here's Riordan. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear how's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. <laughs> I was hoping, uh, what are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. You're going alone? Shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. <laughs> he was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. Could you tell me about the wall again? It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denneran. Oh, I really should be Good going. Good luck to you, then. We will have to talk again when the land's meet is more settled. True. Well, it's good that he made it out. Oh, I can't open that. God damn it. 
Oh, an Alistair. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. <laughs> Something on your mind? I have some questions. Of course. Okay, I thought he might want to talk about the what's going on right now. Hmm. Okay, that's Nora's room. Is this my room? If one more servant asks if I would <gasps> like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. <laughs> what comes, my friend? So, full of... What the heck? If, what comes? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question. Never mind. All right. That was weird. All right, but I think we'll go ahead and speak to Nora in the next part, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this episode wasn't too action-packed, but um, in the next one, we'll go see what's going on in the alienage. But thanks for watching.